Okay, today we're going to talk about how a thin cyclone separator works. I've had some questions about this and I just kind of wanted to address the issue. Um, <clears throat> a normal trash can separator simply has a hole that goes in, a hole that comes out, <clears throat> and a uh, can underneath it. The thin is different, that it has a special design baffle. And I'll pull mine up. You can see this baffle runs around with a slot and then a larger piece. This larger section sits on the inside of the can and you can see the outlet comes out and the air runs around here before entering the slot. Now what that does with a normal separator, your air comes in, comes around, but it can swirl around in the can and the suction from the vacuum or dust collector can pull it back up through. So it doesn't do a very good job of separating. The theme design, the air comes in, it swirls around, it drops the dust load down into the can, and it blocks air from coming back up through the center, which is where the majority of the suction is going from. And it actually does a very good job of keeping the stuff in the can. Um, it's a little hard to demonstrate because I haven't used this one in quite a while. But I've had this thing, I built this thing years ago, probably in, I'm thinking late 2008, early 2009, somewhere in there. And uh, <clears throat> you can see I've dripped paint and all kinds of junk on it from being in the shop. But it's uh, it's been really, really good. Um, before, the, the point behind having a separator is to keep the fines. It's not even so much, I mean, for a lot of people, yeah, it is to keep the large chunks out of the uh, vac. For me, when I built this, I was trying to solve the problem of the uh, vacuum filter clogging up and stopping suction altogether. And this does a very good job of that. It, uh, I was, before I built this, in the year that I had the particular vac that I've got now, I had to clean or replace the filter no less than six times. In the years that I've had this since, I've had to clean the filter once. Um, this can has probably been emptied a dozen times since then. So I hope that explains how a thin separator works. I'm not entirely certain I explained it well. I really hope I did. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'll answer them the best I can. Um, really the best source to answer your questions is going to be the uh, Phil Thien's forum, uh, the Simple Machines forum he's got. If you would just simply Google Thien Separator or Thien Cyclone, um, it's pretty high up there in the results. I'll attach the link down below so you won't have to do that, but just in case you forget my link and go you know, want any information further, um, feel free to go there. You can look for me at that forum under the username DBHOST. Um, I'm not there very often, but I do go in from time to time and I try to participate in the forums and answer questions when I can. So um, if you like this information and you like what I'm doing here, please Feel free to like my videos and subscribe to my channel and uh, give me whatever comments you got down in the comment section. I'd be happy to interact with you. So like I've said before, get out there in your shop, be productive. Don't be like me and be clean in your shop and uh, be blessed. Thank you. Have a great day.